Hey guys, what's happening? Classic Chris here with today's episode of Wrestling Talk. And today, we are talking Impact Wrestling. That's right, we're talking about the roster situation that's going on in TNA. Now, TNA, over the past couple weeks, lost some major, major players to the roster. They lost talent the caliber of Drew Galloway, Matt and Jeff Hardy, Mike Bennett, Maria, Jade. They lost a lot of talent over the past couple of days. Like, And it is crazy, but... TNA is under new management. Jeff Jarrett is back with his creative team. Like, a lot of things are happening over there. And some of these roster departures is huge. So let's get into it. Drew Galloway. Drew Galloway signed with TNA back in February 2015. He was released by WWE in 2014. And the WWE didn't know how to use him. I mean, 3MB, come on. That was one of the worst gimmicks I have ever seen. I'm so happy that it's done. Uh, like, just look at uh, Jinder Mahal and, and Heath Slater now. They're a lot better than they were in 3MB. Like, especially Galloway, because Galloway, with Impact Wrestling, Galloway was a badass. He liked his Guinness, and he liked kicking ass. This guy loved to fight, and that's what I love about this character, because they portrayed him as a man, how he probably really is in real life, because... There's no way that this ass-kicking, beer-drinking guy is a 3MB. Just saying. Like, you know, that I, I really did not like that gimmick. Um, WWE did a lot of damage with that, and it's good to see that all three of them are doing better now. But in TNA 2016, Galloway was champion. He was the grand champion. It's a shame to see him go because, like I said, WWE did not know how to use him, but TNA did. Mike Bennett and Maria joined TNA at the beginning of 2016. Bennett was a main event heel for majority of the year. It was good to see a, a fresh face in that main event scene. Maria was a big part of the Knockouts division. She was a part of a lot of the major storylines going around, and it helped spice things up. Like they were, they were good characters. They were great for the company. It, it sucks that they're gone. Uh, Bennett wasn't happy when uh, Billy Corgan uh, got let go. Neither was I, because I honestly thought Billy Corgan was going to buy TNA. Like, I was really hoping that, but I like the new direction that they're going into. It's a shame that Bennett and Maria won't be there. Um, another wrestler that won't be there, Jade. Jade was one of the brightest stars in TNA in the Knockouts division. She's a former champion. She had great matches against Gail Kim, Rosemary. Uh, Jade has a lot going for her. And right now on the free agent scene, I could see her definitely getting picked up with by WWE because, you know, that that big women's tournament coming up. Um, Asuka's definitely coming up to the main roster with all the rumors going around. Apparently, she's been on SmackDown Live events, which is awesome because SmackDown needs the talent because, I'm sorry, Raw sucks. I, I fucking can't stand it. TNA is awesome. I love watching Impact Wrestling, but... So Jay would be a good fit over there because with Asuka leaving, I could see Jade going right into NXT. And finally, the biggest loss to the roster, biggest blows, current TNA Tag Team Champions, the Broken Hardys. Jeff has been a major part of TNA for years. He's done it all. They allowed Jeff Hardy to be himself. He got to do characters like Willow, Itchweed, uh, Brother Nero. He got to do... A lot more than just coming out as Jeff Hardy. And that was a major thing and why he was so successful in TNA. Jeff Hardy was awesome. He was a major thing. And speaking about being let loose, Matt Hardy, like a lot of people, always looked at him as the second tier Hardy. Then, 2016, we get broken Matt Hardy. Fucking awesome. I like, the, I, I love that character. The way Matt Hardy is, like his stock has never been higher right now as a singles wrestler. A lot of people, like I said, look at him as the second tier Hardy, but... Not in 2016. He was the guy pulling the strings. He was the guy setting everything up. Matt Hardy is the fucking man. Rumor has it that in the contract talks that TNA wanted more creative control over the broken Matt Hardy character. And Matt Hardy wanted more creative control. And I don't blame him because that is his character. That is something he came up with. That is something that Matt Hardy delivered on. It is a shame to see him go because, like I said, TNA let the Hardys loose. They let them entertain. Like, Matt Hardy is entertaining, and that's putting it mildly. He's a former world champion, current tag team champion. It's a huge blow to the roster because Matt Hardy was on fire in 2016. It, it, it sucks. TNA is not in bad shape, though, guys. I'm saying that right now because with all those wrestlers, with all the departures, TNA still has a good roster. Uh, they have stars like Lashley, Eddie Edwards, Davey Richards, Eli Drake, EC3, Crazy Steve, Rosemary, Abyss. That's just to name a few. They all have deals keeping them with Impact Wrestling for the foreseeable future. And that's not bad. And plus, 
with Jared at the helm. Like, you got some new faces coming in. Alberto Del Rio, new champion. ODB's coming back. Conan's helping out. Main guy on the fucking indie scenes, the monster Congo Kong is coming to TNA. Like, he's already been on Explosion. It is a huge pickup because Congo Kong is a monster. He is a beast. And he could throw down in the ring. I have talked about Kongo Kong so many times. Like I said before on past videos, if you do not know who Kongo Kong is, go to the bottom right, click on that WT icon, go to my YouTube channel, Classic Chris, and go to the Kongo Kong playlist. You will not be disappointed. His Neo debut is against Crazy Steve. And now I'm going to ask a question. How many of you out there feel that TNA is in trouble? How many of you feel that, hey, shit happens, TNA will get passes. They have got past it before because, remember, they lost AJ Styles. They lost uh, Bad Influence. They lost Austin Aries, Samoa Joe. They lost Bobby Roode, Eric Young. They lost a lot of key talent, but yet they're still kicking. Everyone keeps saying, like, oh, TNA's dead. TNA's dying. It's a sinking ship. But yet, new contract with uh, Spike TV UK. Uh, they're signed to pop. They have a lot of good things going for them. And right now... They have a good roster. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. So I want to know, what do you guys think? Leave a comment with your thoughts. Like the video. Subscribe. Keep tuning in to Wrestling Talk. Remember, go to my YouTube channel, Classic Chris. Your home for everything Wrestling Talk. Plus my entire indie career. You can see every match I called from my beginning in Neo Wrestling Federation. A little rough around the edges, but hey, we all start somewhere. Crossfire Wrestling. Conflict Wrestling was probably one of my favorite ones to do because... I got to work with the infamous Jay Moore, him and I, great commentary team. Check those out. Go to my YouTube channel. I'm Classic Chris, and this has been Wrestling Talk.